Panasonic's IP proprietary phone. KXNT680 User Guide. Panasonic's KXNT680 is a stylish IP phone with a variety of features that strongly support your business. These features include a large color LCD display that makes information easily available at a glance. 48 flexible function keys to register frequently used numbers. A customizable image display to help you integrate corporate branding and information into the display throughout your organization. Power over Ethernet to free it from power outlets and power supply cables. EHS support and built-in Bluetooth for headsets to enable hands-free conversations while working, improve work efficiency. Encrypted communication with SRTP supports to reduce the risk of security attacks. KXN T680 also mounts the ability to display picture images on the LCD screen. It can be used as an advertising or branding space, making it the best solution for hotels and retailers. Images can be downloaded from a server and changed at once across all terminals, so it can also be used for seasonal event information. First, let us take a look at the functions around the LCD screen. KXN T680 has a 4.3-inch large-size interactive color LCD display. Twelve programmable keys line the sides of the screen, and there are four pages of keys. KXN T680 also has five soft keys just below the screen. You can use the leftmost soft key to access menus like contact directories, or detailed terminal settings. Meanwhile, the four soft keys to the right give you easy access to each page of function keys. In the top right corner of the phone, you have your status indicator light. This flash is red when you receive an outside call, and green when you receive an intercom call. When someone leaves a voice message, the light stays red. A cancel key is also available for canceling the selected item. KXN T680's color LCD enables intuitive operation with a graphical GUI. A status display is centered at the top of the LCD screen. If you have set your phone not to ring, such as with the automatic forwarding, do not disturb mode, ringer off and forwards all call settings, the silent mode status icon will be shown on the screen. Other statuses, such as missed calls, unplayed voicemails and your alarm setting are also shown by their respective color icons. By setting the self-labeling function keys, color icons can let you see your colleagues' call statuses at a glance. The red icon indicates busy and the gray indicates idle. While the call is being parked, the icon flashes red. When conversation recording is active, the recording icon turns red. You can also set frequently used numbers to the one-touch dialing keys to make calls with one touch. The navigator key enables quick access to functions. If you press the down key, it directs you to the extension directory for searching extensions by name. By pressing the up key first, you can control the ringer volume by pressing the up or down key. You can also change the volume of the speaker, handset and ringtone, while it's ringing or while you are talking on the phone. For example, while you are on a call or receiving a call, if you think the handset, speaker or ringtone sound is too loud, you can simply turn down the volume with the down key. Additionally, the right and left keys enable quick access to the incoming and outgoing call log. How to use your KXN T680 Ringtone To select a new ringtone, first, press the pause program key. Then either press a ringable flexible key like CO key two times, or press the intercom key two times. Next, use the dial keys to enter a two-digit number from 1 to 30, or press up or down to select a ringtone. After making a selection, press the enter key, and then the cancel key to go back home. Registering the Bluetooth headset To register the Bluetooth headset for KXN T680, first, Set the Bluetooth headset to pairing mode by following the instructions provided with the headset. 
Then, press the pause program key, and press the dial key 62 times. Next, press the enter key. Enter the Bluetooth headset's pass key, and then, press the enter key again. When Bluetooth pairing is completed, the Bluetooth icon mark will be displayed on the top line of the LCD screen. Finally, press the cancel key. How to use the Bluetooth headset? To use the Bluetooth headset, first press the pause program key. Then, press the dial key 6 and 1. Select headset mode on with the navigator key and press enter. You can now start using your Bluetooth headset for making or hanging up calls. To cancel the pairing setting of the Bluetooth headset, first, press the pause program key. Then, Press the dial key 6 and 7. Select the ID of the Bluetooth headset you would like to cancel the pairing setting for and then press enter. Press the cancel key to go back home. Making calls, calling. Let's take a look at the different ways you can make calls with KXNT680. To call an extension, dial the extension number. Then, press the speakerphone key. After the calling party answers your call, you can start talking on the handset or through the speakerphone. To call an outside party, first, press the line CO key or enter the automatic line access number 0 or 9 depending on the region. Then, you dial the outside party's phone number. After the calling party answers your call, you can start talking on the handset or through the speakerphone. Making calls, redial. To redial, simply, press the redial key, then you can make a call to the last dial number. Making calls, system speed dialing. To use the system speed dialing feature. By utilizing system speed dial, you can create a phone book that is usable company-wide. First, press the auto dial, store key. Then, you can search for the company name by pressing the dial keys with the corresponding letters or pressing the down navigator key to select from the list. Personal speed dialing. To store a personal speed dialing number, firstly, enter star key 3 0. Next, enter a two digit personal speed dialing number. For example, to set the speed dial number 12, press the 1 and 2 dial keys. Then, enter the phone number to store up to 32 digits. Afterward, press pound. Then, press the speakerphone key one time. After hearing the confirmation tone, press the speakerphone again. To dial a stored personal speed dialing number, press the star key three times, then dial the two digit personal speed dial number. For example, 12. Either pick up the handset or press the speakerphone key to start calling. Transferring calls. To transfer the current call to another extension. When you receive an incoming call, if you would like to transfer the call. Firstly, you answer the incoming call either with handset or speakerphone. Press the transfer key. When you hear the confirmation tone, dial the designated extension number. For example, extension 108. After you inform about the call to the receiving party, you just simply put the handset back in the cradle or press the speakerphone key, and then the call between the caller and other party will be active. You can also transfer calls without talking to the other party at the extension. In that case, you simply hang up after dialing the extension number. Even after you put the handset back in the cradle, the call will be transferred to the designated extension. You can also transfer calls to an outside party. When you receive an incoming call that you would like to transfer to an outside party, first, answer the incoming call with either the handset or speakerphone. Press the transfer key. Then, enter automatic line access number 0 or 9 depending on region, 
and then, dial an outside phone number and press pound. After you inform about the call to the receiving party, you just simply put the handset back in the cradle, or press the speakerphone key, and then, the call between the caller and other party will be active. Multiple Party Conversation Let's look at the Multiple Party Conversation feature. To add other parties during a conversation, press the conference key. After the confirmation tone, dial the phone number of the party to add, and talk to the new party that you'd like to have a multiple party conversation with. Then, press the conference key again. Once you hear the confirmation tone, you can talk with all parties. To leave a conversation, simply put the handset back in cradle, or press the speakerphone key if you are using the speakerphone. Forward, do not disturb mode setting. You can set a number to forward calls to. For example, when you are not in the office. First, press the forward do not disturb key. Then, press the soft key under edit. You can select forward, do not disturb mode, by pressing the soft key under the cell key. This time, we will set the number for the forward all setting. Now, you can press the number that you'd like to forward calls to under the forward all setting. For example, your mobile phone number. Press pound when you finish pressing the number. Finally, press the soft key under enter to finish the setting. You can turn off the forward all setting by pressing the soft key under off or pressing the forward do not disturb key two times. Message key. To use the message key. The message key is available for one touch access to your voicemail box. When you have voicemail in your mailbox, the indicator light turns red. If you press the message key, you can listen to your voice messages in your mailbox. You have three messages. The message key is also convenient when you receive an incoming call while you are busy. You can simply press the message key to transfer the call to your mailbox. When you have an incoming call and cannot answer at the moment, you can simply press the message key to transfer the incoming call to your mailbox. Thank you for purchasing the Panasonic AXN T680 IP proprietary phone. Please refer to the operating instructions for guidance on any other features not covered in this video. Panasonic.